At least three people dead and several others injured from a devastating tornado in eastern North Carolina. Welcome into the Fox 46 News at noon. I'm Paige Failing. This happened in Brunswick County, right near Ocean Isle Beach, just before midnight last night. That's just about three hours from Charlotte. Fox 46's Josh, uh, excuse me, Joseph Holloway is in one of the hardest hit areas there. Shows us now the damage left behind. We're along Highway 17 here on the south side of Brunswick County, and let me tell you, there's a wave of damage all across this area. You can see this bit of damage right here. This is uh, just a, a storage facility that's been ripped to shreds right here in the back. You see all the debris. You see a lot of items that are just buried underneath that debris. As we look over here, you can also see a little bit of damage done to this exterminating business. There's a power line that's down across here, and you can also see past all of this debris, there's homes that have been damaged. Now, we don't know anything about if people actually live in those homes. Talking to a man out here who actually is the manager of this place, he was saying that he noticed driving down the road, you have areas where there's a lot of damage, then you have areas where there's none. Pretty much the common course when it comes to tornadoes. In Brunswick County, North Carolina, I'm Joseph Holloway. And we're going to bring in Fox 46 meteorologist Amanda Cox now to uh, talk about this, what we can expect today, just awful, of course, what happened there. And then is this, timing-wise, is it unusual for this to be seen in the middle of February like this? It is. It's definitely unusual. We typically see this more at the end of March getting into April. So we're about a, a little bit over a month ahead of schedule for seeing some of these. But you can actually see this cell that was coming through eastern North Carolina last night. It started just b before 1130 and then it continued to the north and west. And unfortunately, that tornado did make its way towards the north, just north of Shalot. And you can see that it was in Brunswick County from Gesett Town all the way to Delco is where they're seeing some of that track all the way northward. They're continuing to assess the damage, but there's three dead, 10 injured as of this point. And they will come out probably later on this afternoon as to how intense that storm was after they assess the damage and see how long the ultimate track was with this storm system. But that 